Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Kingdom Soldier and I'm back again with another gameplay slash commentary. Just a warning if you hear any weird animal sounds or crazy noises in the background. It's just my wife being my wife. She just really wants to mess up my commentaries. She wants to mess up my commentary so bad that she told me the minute I hit 300 subscribers, which will probably be by the time this video comes out, I'm at 393 right, or 293 right now. She said she's going to unsub for me, so I go back to 299. What a jerk. So let's hope that really doesn't happen. I'm really close to 300 subscribers, so I do want to thank you guys uh, for helping me get there, all of you guys that are subscribed, because you're pretty active subscribers, and I really appreciate that. So I wanted to kind of do something today that I've never done before. I want to respond to someone else's video. Woody's Gamertag last week, he's a great guy. I love his videos. I watch most of them. Uh, some of them he goes a little off the deep end, like on his Mail Monday and some stuff that he's put up recently. Uh, I don't know if he's trying to get views or if he's just changing as a man. Uh, but, you know, some of his videos I just don't watch anymore. Uh, but I did watch a video last week that he put up, and the title of it was, Does YouTube Make Call of Duty Suck? Uh, my, my quick response to that is no. People make Call of Duty suck. If there's anything that you don't enjoy about the game, outside of connection issues and things like that, that Treyarch is consistently trying to fix, uh, you know, this is not an Infinity Ward game where they just leave it like they make it. No pun intended. Don't mean to diss Infinity Ward, but, you know, some things just remain broken in those games. But in this game, uh, the, this first patch they put out, everything they do, they're always trying to balance it so that you use every weapon available and nothing is overpowered so that we all have a good experience. Uh, I think, though, that some of the things that make the game suck is just the way people play. And unfortunately, we're never going to get away from that. Uh, YouTube actually makes a lot of players better, uh, which is one of the reasons why Woody put out his video, because I don't want to name any names, but a YouTuber put out a video saying he was upset because there wasn't enough noobs on the sticks for him to get gameplays for YouTube. Uh, and I'm using that term noob because that's the term he used. Basically, people that are brand new at the game, and they're really bad, so they're really easy to kill, and you can get really big and awesome gameplays, uh, like the one you're watching. I think I go 50 and 21. Uh, and, you know, uh, this is a good example. I get, I think, almost 8,000 points uh, on this, and I'm playing multi-team hardpoint. Multi-team is really fun. If you got two people that you want that you like playing with, go into multi-team. It's, it's really a lot of fun, uh, but I get almost 8,000 points because I'm capping hard points, getting kills, and it's just, I think I get 10 captures, 12 defense. Really good game. Anyway, sorry to uh, sideline right there, but, you know, this gameplay is really good. You guys should watch it. You'll enjoy it. Uh, I, I think that Woody... Some of the stuff he said I agree with, some of the stuff he said I don't. Uh, because I do agree that YouTube is dangerous. And I actually have a video up on my channel called YouTube is Dangerous, where I talk about how YouTube can cause people to change their character. So if you are, uh, you know, you're a man, you're a son, you're a sibling, uh, you may be even a daughter. I know that um, there's some girls like Jinx that's playing with me in this game. She's a female commentator. Uh, you know, you may change who you are just so that you can grow your channel. And, of course, uh, I would have advise against that. I would advise against changing who you are and how you talk. You know, don't use curse words and things like that if you don't use curse words. Uh, there's actually someone that's subscribed to me, probably watching this video right now, who put a cuss word in the title of one of his commentaries, and I know for a fact that that's outside of his character, so I called him out on it, and he changed the title. And he has way more subscribers than I do. Uh, but I'll do that for all of you guys. If I know that there's a certain type of uh, way that you want to come across on YouTube and you tell me that, I'm going to help you stick to it because, you know, that's what I'm here for. Uh, but don't allow YouTube and your desire to grow your channel to change who you are. You know, in that, in that way... I think that YouTube might not necessarily make Call of Duty suck, but it can make you suck or it can make your life suck. You know, it can really uh, ruin relationships if you, you know, don't play with your friends anymore because you only want to play with your subscribers or something like that. You know, uh, YouTube and Call of Duty in general, these are all made as mediums to help us uh, relate to each other better and socialize and have more friends and things like that. And that's what YouTube has done for me. That's what Call of Duty has done for me. I have a lot of online friends uh, and I have a lot of friends on YouTube, of course, because a lot my subscribers uh, become my friends on Xbox and then we play together and we get to know each other and I found some really awesome communities like 3 Day Respawn so um, I really like YouTube I really like Call of Duty uh, on the uh, Call of Duty side of things and just being a player in general I think YouTube actually makes most people better now when T-Mart who you know 
he every video he puts out gets like 400,000 or more views. When he puts out a video, the day after, you are going to see people in the game using whatever it is he said. Uh, he put out a, a video actually about this exact map, Hijack, that you're seeing me play on, that there's a way to throw grenades from above uh, the capture point that's downstairs, you can throw a grenade from up top through a vent and get down in there. Now, any of you guys that haven't seen that, you're probably going to go watch it right now. You're going to stop watching my video, and you're going to go watch Team Art's video. It's actually a really cool tip. And you can throw grenades from the below uh, to up top. And then there's the whole secret capture point that they had on Hijacked. And the minute that started to go up on uh, YouTube, you saw it the next day. Uh, Diamond Camo. The minute that went up on YouTube, people were doing whatever they could to get Diamond Camo on their sniper rifles. And especially commentators because they wanted to commentate. You know, And I know some friends I have on Xbox that are trying to get Diamond Camo with all the assault rifles. Or Diamond Camo with all the submachine guns. Uh, because... It's cool. It looks cool when you kill somebody and then they look in the kill cam and it's diamond camo or when you're uploading your gameplay, it's diamond camo. So, you know, YouTube does have an impact on the game. You know, YouTube is a huge community. Uh, but, you know, one of the things that Woody did is he compared YouTube uh, and the game to real life. Like, he made a comparison between ice hockey and playing against sixth graders and what it's like to play against noobs and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, I agree with the fact that, you know, we shouldn't complain that people are better on the game. You know, if you're a good player, you're going to be a good player no matter who you play against. Uh, but I kind of disagree that I don't think you can compare Call of Duty and YouTube to anything in life. I think it is so unique and so different that it's its own animal, and we're not going to be able to use other analogies to relate to Call of Duty or YouTube. Uh, and I want to go backwards a little bit to that being a good player and playing against good players. You know, I play with this guy named Xiao, uh, or Steven is his real name. And I'm going to put a link to his Twitch in the description because this guy is just ridiculous. He's the best COD player that I've ever played with, actually, like, in a game on my team. Um, and the reason why I say that is because he's consistent. You know, no matter who we go up against, bad connection, great connection, uh, using RPGs, noob tubing on Modern Warfare 3, it doesn't matter what the other team is using, what they're doing, if they're using Guardians, if they're spamming UAVs, uh, if they're just all camping with snipers. He can snipe, he can he can AR, he can submachine gun. He's just an all-around great player. He has a two-point, I want to say four or something, uh, kill-death ratio. I may be generous, but I know it's over a two. Um, I think he's ninth prestige right now on the game. He's put in a whole bunch of hours, uh, and he is definitely at the level of a pro player. And if you watch his Twitch, you'll just be amazed as you watch it. And, you know, I actually told him the other day, I said, how are you not on a team uh, because of how good he is? You know, Xiao, is, even if he complains about anything in the game, he's just one of those people that just sticks it out and plays. Uh, and he's really good. And he's very consistent. And, you know, he doesn't really get that frustrated. But even when he does, his frustration is like, oh, man, I only went 38 and 11. You know, and that's frustrating for him that he didn't go, you know, 55 and 6. <laughs> and so uh, he's just an all-around good player. And if you're a good player on this game, you're going to be a good player no matter what. You know, no matter how bad the connection is, no matter who you're playing against, you're always going to be good. And so I don't think that YouTube really has uh, anything to do with uh, Call of Duty as a game and, and how it plays out. You know, and the question you have to ask yourself is, has YouTube made you a better player or has YouTube made you a better commentator because I think those two you know a lot of you guys that are subscribed to me whenever you subscribe and I'm sure you guys know this you know you get us uh, an email or I get an email that says this person just subscribed to you they have this many subscribers and this many videos uploaded and so I can see that a lot of people that subscribe to me have their own channels and upload their own videos and uh, most of you guys actually, a good number of you guys have a good number of subscribers, you know, which I think is really cool because it builds a community of similar sized channels where we can help each other grow and give each other tips, you know, um, on doing this YouTube thing. But you have to look at it from both angles, you know, has YouTube caused you as a commentator to commentate differently, to commentate about things, you know, and put thumbnails up that, you know, you wouldn't let your mom look at or you wouldn't let your little sister look at or you wouldn't let your kids look at? Has YouTube caused you as a commentator to talk about things that you would be embarrassed if your wife heard that commentary or if your mom heard that commentary and then on the other side you know it's like has YouTube caused you to play in a way where 
you don't like it and you actually don't have fun and you find yourself raging a lot. You know, I have a, my most watched, most favorited, and most liked video ever that I've uploaded is called uh, Why Did I Ever Stop Sniping? And it's actually a commentary about me, for some reason on Black Ops 1, I just stopped sniping. And it was because I was watching YouTube videos and I stopped having as much fun on the game. So every once in a while, on every Call of Duty since then, I will pull out my sniper rifle and just have fun because there's nothing like getting a collateral or getting a three-piece with your sniper rifle. Yes, it frustrates the other team, <laughs> but there's nothing like it. And I have a lot of fun doing it. I uh, hope you guys, I um, hope this commentary was good for you guys. And leave some comments. Let me know uh, what your opinion is. Does YouTube make a big difference on Call of Duty? Does it make it suck? Does it make the game worse? Uh, and what you think, or if you watched Woody's video, what you thought of it. This is your boy, Kingdom Soldier, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.